On the 22nd of July, 2012, Tyson Mao announced on the WCA forum that the Rubik's Magic and Master Magic were to be removed from the list of officially sanctioned events at the end of the year. While there was a small amount of opposition regarding this, the general reaction in the community was a huge sigh of relief. So why were they in there at all, and why were they removed? For those who don't know, Rubik's Magic is a puzzle where the object is to twist and flip the tiles in order to link the rings. There are two designs on the front and back, one of which has the rings in a row, and the other one has them linked up. It's also possible to make other shapes, like a cube, but the most common solution is considered to be the one where the rings are linked. The Master Magic is very similar, only instead of three rings there are five, and the goal is to unlink them. It's a very similar solve, however. Magic and Master Magic were introduced with the first modern competition in 2003, and were made an official event when the WCA was founded in 2004. This is mostly due to Bob Burton, who organised many, many competitions on the US East Coast around that time, and was also the world record holder. Since then, the times have improved dramatically. It's an incredibly fast puzzle, with the best people consistently averaging under a second, under two seconds for the master version. Of course, the issue with it is that once you've solved it once, you can solve it literally every single time as the solver's the same. There was no real scrambled magic, only an unsolved one, which was always the same. No notation could really be developed for the puzzle due to the very nature of it, and would a scrambled magic be in three dimensions or just two? There are a lot of questions that needed to be answered if it was to be more of a serious event. However, there were bigger issues. The puzzle was so unbelievably fast, with some individual souls being under 0.7 seconds, that it was very, very hard to judge if the competitor was following regulations. The question naturally arose, were all the souls across the world being held under the right circumstances? If a magic broke during a solve, a frequent occurrence, it could take over 10 minutes to restring it. A common complaint was that it was just a test of dexterity and not an actual puzzle. If anything, it belonged in a cup stacking competition. In the middle of 2012, discussions took place between the WCA board and delegates, and they all came to the conclusion that magic and master magic needed to be removed. It was not really a puzzle, and it simply wasn't feasible to judge. On the 1st of January 2013, all results were archived and no new results were to be accepted. The community was mostly thankful, as the reasoning was sound, and even the people who liked magic didn't. Nowadays, Magic and Master Magic are mostly just relics of cubing history. Probably the most memorable moment was when a speed solving user posted a thread with a 0.5 second magic solve that clearly broke the regulations, and inadvertently caused a meme. There isn't really anything else notable about them. Oh yeah, except that time when Stefan Pockman taught everyone how to solve the Master Magic. Six easy flips on the right hand side. Two more on the left, turn the puzzle over, beautiful four flips, followed by two ugly, on the bottom side and some other stuff, six on the left and we're done, and don't forget to wear your helmet.